taking a photo. Is there anybody in any of them though? Is it open? It's not open, is it? So don't want the business in Easter, which is crazy because this one's got a little swimming pool and stuff, hasn't it, for kids? And look how beautiful it is. No, definitely closed. So third option is the air. Is that right? That's right. How far is that? Six minutes. We've got to find space on the air. It's fantastic here and we've seen on the internet there's a suspension bridge about four miles that way so we're going to go and try and find it. That was definitely worth a ride up here. Wow, what an experience riding across that. <gasps> Quite hairy actually, <laughs> going across the middle. It really bounces and when you're on the bike, you really feel strange. <gasps> I had a little moment of like, you can do this, keep going, keep going. But it was good, no, it was good, really enjoyed it. I loved it coming back, I was getting much faster. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool bridge and it takes 60 ton, which was eight, people people can you imagine 800 people on there no but at least i know that the five of us that were on oh, were on there were quite safe spectacular nice one babe come on baby hey. <laughs> Wow, what an amazing experience that bridge was. Oh my God, absolutely loved it. Superb, and this lake goes on forever. Just stunning. <sighs> so when we did that adventure, we used a lot of tech. Had the drone out, had the 360 camera, we had our phones for navigation, we had the e-bikes to get there. We had this camera that I'm talking to now. My goodness, and obviously all that needs charging. Now I've never been able to do this in the past, but now we've got this device here called the Delta EcoFlow Mini and this is actually capable of charging everything. 
So we've got the drone, we've got the uh, 360 phone cameras plugged into the back of here. Mainly the bikes. I can't believe we've never had a power charger that actually charges the bikes and they're both currently charging at the same time. It's currently only drawing 375 watts. It's actually capable of powering 1400 watts. Uh, the actual capacity of this is 882 watt hours. That's not quite enough to charge both e-bikes from flat to full, but we never run them flat anyway. So there's always going to be enough in one one of these to charge both the bikes and all the tech. But it's brilliant because we're not on hook up today, so we can means we can go out on the bikes again tomorrow because I really can't see doing that because there are so many places to see around here, and we've still got loads of like power in here, haven't we? Yeah. We do the remote kind of stuff which we did do few days ago we were off gridding then and we put we charged the remoska we powered the remoska which is the oven um, and that was perfect wasn't it hardly used any power it's superb yeah such I'm, a good thing really impressed have you noticed how quiet it is yeah quieter than you <laughs> <laughs> yeah hardly any noise at all you see on the back here we've got uh, three USBs, uh, normal USBs and USB-C but we've got so much kit that uh, I need to plug in my USB uh, extender device and because of that I needed to use an extension cable because you only get two, which is probably normal, <laughs> two 240 volt uh, sockets on here so I'm really kind of pushing this to limits. You can also see here we've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter not used this yet, you can tell it's quite stiff. <laughs> there we go. And, and one of the great features about this is it can do a fast charge. So if I just lift this flap here, uh, obviously we're not charging at the moment, but uh, if I was charging, I can switch it to fast charge. And if there's sufficient uh, voltage, then it can charge the whole thing in two hours, which is really good. We've also got uh, a connection point there for solar. Uh, and finally, I believe that's the reset button. <laughs> yeah, it's it. It says reset on it. I guess that's if if you do exceed the maximum uh, wattage, then you need to re reset it. Ah, caught you at it. <laughs> sneaky gin around the back of the motorhome. You can't even have a sneaky one behind you. <laughs> well, what have you got? I'm going to join you, <laughs> Grimbergen. Blonde. You prefer a blonde now, don't you? Now I've got a bit more blonde than dark. I thought he was going to say grey. <laughs> so good job I'm comfy here right now. I'm giving you a good poke in the eye. <laughs> I feel like I'm opening a champagne, but this is even better. It's beer. Are you happy, Bunny? I will be when this is opened. <laughs> don't hit the top of my head. Oh! Uh. oh. <laughs> In my flipping glass again. Left, 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 left. Right. Yo, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Well done. Sausage, potato, and veg. The easiest meal ever in the world. And a bit of a walk after dinner. Let the dinner go down. Come on. She only had one gin. This is the campsite we tried to come to originally. Some great pictures there, right by the water's edge. Marked out by the hedges. Looks lovely. But it's shut. <coughs> Need to be a bit quiet because there's nobody else up. But what a morning much blue sky but the reflection on the lake is amazing we have croissants Yay! and baguette Ooh, look like good ones yummy can't beat it well those croissants went down a treat didn't they they did they were delicious yeah <laughs>
So we decided to stay here for another day. All the campsite seems to be closed anyway. Even though it's Easter. Crazy, but they don't open until about the 20th, I think they said, 20th of April. So what we're going to do is going to go back to the bridge and try and get a bit further. Possibly try and get around onto to the other bank. So that's where the motorhome is. We've ridden along here, across the first suspension bridge, all the way around here, just across the second suspension bridge. And ideally we'd ride down here and catch the boat back, but I've just asked somebody, it doesn't start running until the 1st of May. So now we've got a dilemma. Do we just ride back or do we ride down here, and see if there's some coffee? which is probably unlikely because the boat's not running. That's where We'd like to have ridden down to and caught the boat across back to the air where we probably can't make it out, but Katie is literally just there. Wow! perfect system going here. You have to pump the water, but I can't connect it to that, so I'm tipping the water into the uh, the black canister. And I've got the uh, the pump in there, which is being run by the, uh, the EcoFlow Mini, pumping water into the motorhome. It's <laughs> genius! <laughs> I hope the campsite is going to be open. Yeah, there's not many open right now, is there? <laughs> it's on the postal service. This is no motorhome. Oh, Four. Okay. This is a superb air, uh, located really close to the town centre. Room for 136 motorhomes. Um, there's a supermarket somewhere just, uh, just down the road. This is where we are. We've been told apparently that the hospice is meant to be amazing. And that's literally just up there. This is the whole map. Well, that's not happening unless the queue goes down later. That's the hostel that we were told was really good. I like going there. It's on stage. So there's Katie, and here's 
Yeah, muscles and chips. Muscles and chips. How perfect. Literally 10 paces away from the boat. Can you hear that behind us? We've just literally been in the park and I went, they're going to close the gates at some point. Literally closing it. We'd have been locked in the park for the night. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, time to leave Bourne and we're going to get some gas which is just across from the site and what I've got here is my adapter, my French adapter to enable me to fill with gas. 83 euros, much cheaper than in the UK. Chamont, is it? Oh, Chamont Park, sounds better. <laughs> parked up, had our lunch, gonna go for an explore now. Nice little air here. There's nobody actually at the moment to switch our electricity on. I was but gonna say, we've all had a go, haven't we? Can't get think, electric. But we think it's at four o'clock. The uh, tourist office there opens and then we can pay and have electricity. And water. So, what's for dinner tonight? Well, I'm going to be cooking some paella and it's a recipe that's been passed down through the generations. And uh, yeah, it's got uh, uh, prawns in there and mussels and, and chicken as well. So, we'll have to see what, how, what, it, how it comes out. What are you doing? I'm cooking. No. <laughs> hey. hey. down there on the other side short walk or ride up here on the bike and you have fuel and the supermarket huge supermarket So the original one was open, but there was only five pitches or six pitches, and there was a motorhome in front of us, and it got the last one. Got it. So we're now in a free air called Air Municipal Damery. So it looks okay. There's a little park over there. We're going to get out on the bikes and have a good old explore, aren't we? Yeah. It seems very quiet here. I think three or four miles outside of Epony, but uh, there's a nice river down there. So we're going to ride down, see if there's a river path we can use to get into uh, We'll just make Epony. one up anyway, won't we? And if not, <laughs> we'll just play it by here.
not much open today. But one thing that is open is this lovely boulangerie. Look what I got! An Easter bunny! <laughs> That's so cute! I know that yours is a pretty cool one. Vanilla eclair. Well, this is amazing. They are still ploughing these vineyards by horse. Anglais? Anglais? Champagne, yeah. <laughs> Michelle is going to have a, a go at ploughing. You can take this tool and you push, push. direction on the, on the ground. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, my horse is its name. It's Cyrus. 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 This is Cyrus. Cyrus. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, he's ten. Ten oh. years old. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, a lot of. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Right. right. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. 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 <laughs> and it's my friend, Hervé. Oh. If you want, you up. Up. Okay. Oh. Up. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Michelle. <laughs> What Michelle doesn't realise is now she's been taken on for the day to do the whole field. What an amazing experience. It's really hard actually going up the vines. But coming down, a lot easier. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely loved it though. And his, her father actually created the design of the thing that, so it doesn't the plow. damage. Yeah, so it doesn't damage the vine. It just takes out all the weeds. Very clever, genius. This place is a birthplace of Champagne. What a ride this is turning into be. Superb, isn't it? There's one thing on your vineyard tour though. Where's the champagne to drink? I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to refund. There's it's none. bank holiday Monday. They're all shut. <laughs> That'll be the canal we rode along to get here. Cheers. <laughs> this sounds good for another day. Electric tut tut wine tour. Wow, what an amazing day we've had. That was fantastic, wasn't it? All topped yeah. off by drinks, several drinks with some Frenchmen. Champagne for me. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, Whew. super. What are we having? The meal that you've tried to do all holiday. Spaghetti carbonara, my favourite. <laughs> Every day and today I went, is it spaghetti carbonara tonight? Because it's the last night I went, no, we've got this to have it. And he's like, his face at the bottom it went. <laughs> Right. We're having it tonight though, aren't we? Let's cut to carbonara. Let's do that. And there we go. Carbonara. Done. Mm. Spotted where I'm coming tomorrow morning. And there we go. Last baguettes. Poissons, etc. of our holiday. Sad. Good morning. So 
we're back in Katy, having had a really good night, very peaceful wasn't it? Super quiet where we stayed, the air was brilliant and I think the electric's free even though we didn't use it because we didn't need it. Um, yeah, so it's great. Had a quick walk around this morning and yeah, as you saw, got us baguettes and croissants, delicious. But now we're leaving this amazing wine champagne region. Perfect end, I had such a good day yesterday, it was brilliant, it was a perfect end to an amazing adventure, had so much fun, I can't believe we've been in snow, sunshine, rain, wind, we've had everything, it's been brilliant, breakdown, that wasn't brilliant. That wasn't so brilliant, but it was all part of the adventure wasn't it, so it's all good, and now we're heading to Calais, and we've got 3 hours 17 drive to get there. That's it, the end of our skiing and uh, sunny trip. So it's time to take off the Mort. Well, at least it didn't take the paintwork off, so that's good. I think I'll use this next time. <laughs> 